Hey Gemini, how's it going? Welcome to Leo Love Readings. Um, I'm sorry this is so dark. Uh, I'm trying out a new um, lighting source and apparently it needs to be charged. Um, but you, you can you can see the cards okay, um, I think. So, I'm pretty sure. So, um, we're gonna just uh, kind of rock with this and see how it goes. Um, I'm also sick, so I apologize for the sniffles and all of the things, um, but you know, it is what it is, so, um, alright, I'm gonna get you guys a straight no chaser, um, message with my own deck here, this is for Gemini and Gemini cross watchers, okay, I wanna thank you guys for all of your likes, shares, subscriptions, your beautiful comments, your bookings, and your donations. Uh, information that you need about me is in the description box below the video. Okay. All right. So, let's see here. Bottom of the deck, we have Secret Admirer. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well. But it's either you get the message like this or not at all. So I'm just going to keep pushing forward. So I am a thief. Nothing is sacred. Yeah, that is not. Hang on a second. That's not enough light. Sammy hates that overhead light, so I'm trying to find some other methods. Okay, I'm a thief, nothing is sacred. Um, I'm so congested. Uh, abusive. I admire your strength. Rack at it. Somebody here is addicted to money and power. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You're protected, though. Yeah, you're honorable. Karmic rewards coming. Yeah, you having to deal with this person, you handled it the right way. So you're um, you're gonna get some spiritual. Uh, Words, prophetic dreams, and visions, intimate bond, tweaker, coming out in the wash, riffraff, rainbow, street smart. I think that's you. I don't want to lose my kids. That could be you. Um, or that could be this, um, asshat here, bipolar. Yeah, I say I love you through an evil grin. This person is a real piece of crap. I don't want to lose you. Hmm. Hidden motives. Hmm. Loose goose. This one is a hoe. All right, so, all right, Jim, you guys have a secret admirer, okay? You have a secret admirer. Your secret admirer, they don't want to lose you. They feel like you guys have an intimate bond with each other. For some of you guys, you're dealing with 
this. Um, money hungry, abusive person here. It could be like a family member. Um, you guys could be, your secret admirer could also be dealing with somebody like this. Or it could just be your secret admirer. So this is a drug addict here, this tweaker. Coming out in the wash, so you don't know this. Yeah, okay, so. If you feel like you have some sort of a real intimate bond with somebody, but they're not like making a move on you or they're not coming towards you, like if it's not going anywhere and you don't know why, you might find out that it's because they have someone in their life who's causing them a lot of trouble. Uh, and you don't, you don't know this. Like, say you're a woman watching this, and your secret admirer is a male. They could have, like, another male who is causing them a lot of trouble because they are attracted to them, but they can't have them. That's one scenario, but you got to put it however it goes for you because this is a general reading. Somebody here has kids that they don't want to lose. That could be any of you guys. Uh, bipolar. Yeah, somebody here is bipolar. They're, they're, one of the reasons they come off as bipolar is because they're a drug addict. This person is very malicious. It's like either you are dealing with somebody who's like, oh, I love you, but like they really hate you. Or your secret admirer is dealing with someone like this. And it could be a romantic relationship, like a karmic relationship, since karmic rewards are coming soon. It could be that. It maybe could be that you dealt with somebody like this who was a karmic. Um, or your secret admirer is dealing with somebody like this. And they're trying to figure out how to get rid of them without losing their kids. That's a possibility as well. Gender doesn't matter. Um, there are hidden motives here, so this could be um, negative and positive, both. The negatives could be um, somebody here who is really evil and conniving. They have evil motives, hidden motives, but also your secret admirer has hidden motives. There's somebody who um, wants to be with you. They want to have this relationship with you, but they're not letting you know that. Like They're not coming across that way. But it might be because they're trying to protect you from this energy here. That they're trying to take care of this hoe, oh, loose goose. This is somebody who, um, this is generally like a female energy, but it doesn't have to be. It's just somebody who just, like, they will, they're just a hoe, okay? It's just hoe energy. You know, somebody could be like a sex worker or they use themselves and they use their sexuality to get money so yeah this, there's a lot of different scenarios for this um negative individual but suffice to say you and or your secret admirer have been dealing with douchebags or you still are or you're trying to like wrap those loose ends up to be able to move on, to be together. And you, you don't even know like that this person wants to be with you. Like, I feel like you are just over here doing your own thing, staying in your strength. Um, you could be getting like a lot of prophetic dreams and visions. That card's been coming up a lot. Um, your ancestors could be reaching out to you. You could be dreaming about this person. like. You could be dreaming about a person and you feel like this really strong bond with them, but yet there is not a whole lot going on in the physical realm. So you're just like in the dark on it. You're like, well, I don't know why this is happening. Um, but it's because this person is in love with you. They don't want 
to lose you. They admire you. They they admire you. A lot. A lot. This person loves you. They love who you are. They love how fucking strong you are. They see things that you have went through and they are just fucking blown away. That you could have gotten through those things. This person is straight up like seriously in love with you. They see you as honorable. They honor you. There's a huge amount of love towards you. From this person. You're straight smart. They see that about you. They see that you know how to take care of yourself. You don't need a motherfucker. You take care of yourself. And they love that so much. And that makes them want to take care of you even more. Because you don't need them to. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. You have... You are completely protected. This person is also sending you protection. But with coming out in the wash, being here, um, you're going to find out the truth about all of this. It's all just going to naturally come out. You might want to watch the Aquarius video because I feel like this is similar to that where um, you might have someone around you who is trying to uh, keep love out of your life. It might be... Trying to send obstacles or build spiritual barriers so that somebody um, who loves you can't come towards you. With no weapons formed against you shall prosper. I mean, it insinuates that there are weapons that are trying to form against you. Um, but it, it's not going to work. And the message in the Aquarius video was pretty fucking cutthroat. It was that if there is somebody in your life who is doing this, and I know that I've hit on this in Gemini readings in the past, if there is somebody in your life, somebody in your past, somebody in your family, and they are trying to, if they are consistently working to keep good things and love out of your life, they finna get themselves killed. This person is literally going to die. Because if they are... It's like, okay, look look at it like... Yeah, we're all in flesh suits, okay? But some of us have spiritual missions. Some of us are chosen. We didn't choose it. It chose us. We don't like it. But it is what it is. We got shit to do. We came here with a fucking agenda. And if you have someone like that who has an entire spiritual army behind them and they're here to do specific shit and then there's somebody else they're supposed to be with, a partner, and it's included in the mission and there's some shit that they're supposed to do with each other. If you got this one dumb motherfucker right here constantly lodging themselves right in between these two people who need to be together to do this shit, what do you think is going to happen to them? If they will not vacate the premises on their own, no matter what, I feel like every single fucking thing is being tried because... You know, killing somebody is not the first option. But if they will not remove themselves no matter what, like, that's really the only option that they're leaving. So, ooh, this motherfucker just had a heart attack. Whoops, they're gone. I mean, it's gonna be like that. It's not like their body's gonna fucking roll up in a river or some shit. They're not, like, literally being murdered. Oh, fucking aneurysm. Bye, bitch. It's going to be like that. That's the message. You keep being a fucking douchebag, you're going to get taken out. It's going to be by an act of God. So, I feel like that message rolls over into this one. 
like don't worry you know just chill just keep staying in your power do what you're doing like i take care of it because god motherfucking will